Hello and welcome to Dyson Demons. I'm Emma and in this video I'm going to show you how I paint a night haunt model. This one is a Merman Banshee. And um, I'm starting out with a model that's been primed using the White Scars primer from GW. And then I am using a contrast paint. This one is called Bloxian Purple. And uh, the whole idea behind this color scheme actually was that I really, really wanted to try something out with this new a lovely purple contrast paint because uh, before that I didn't really think there was any like solid good purple contrast paint options and so I have uh, well basically been avoiding painting uh, any models <laughs> uh, purple which I think is a shame because purple is like a cool color it's just a little bit difficult to work with sometimes and I also think it can be a little bit difficult to find colors that really work well with purple. So that's also why um, when I decided I wanted something uh, purple and I wanted uh, another color to go with that, I was uh, um, perhaps a little bit, um, well, not perhaps lazy as such, but perhaps a tiny bit <laughs> anyway, um, because I ended up going for a pink color. And the pink color I'm using here is also a contrast paint and it's called uh, Doomfire Magenta. This was uh, also a color that I haven't really been working a lot with, so I thought this was the uh, perfect excuse to, uh, to to really try it out. And as you can see here, I just did some really quick uh, wet blending. I'm going to be covering the entire surface with a lot of textures anyway, so it doesn't really matter that it's not, you know, perfectly smooth and awesome. Um, it just needs to, well, sort of do the job. And so a quick wet blend is all it takes uh, to get a result that I'm fairly happy with. Then for the dress underneath the cloak, I went for, uh, I don't know if it's uh, exactly a... Yeah. In my mind, it's sort of a classic color scheme. You have turquoise, you have purple, you have pink. Uh, I just think those three colors go really well together. Um, I also think that like a nice bright turquoise is sort of, um, I don't know, appropriately ethereal looking. And also I wanted the... Um, the cloak uh, on top, the purple and pink cloak, to really be what grabs your attention because that's also where you have the uh, illusion, at least, of the face. Um, and so I thought this would be a, a nice uh, bright color uh, that would fit in with the old color scheme without actually uh, demanding your attention as such. Then for the uh, first part of the cross hatching, as you can see here, I, I am using another contrast paint. This one is called Sigvald Burgundy and it's sort of a nice uh, mixture between, between purple and pink, uh, just in a bit of a darker color. And so it works really well as the first layer of, uh, of, high, uh, of shadows, as you can see here. Um, I'm just doing cross hatching, which are like tiny little um, hashtags turned on their head or something. <laughs> and um, I, I really like it because it's a nice way of adding texture to a model and I think it also is quite appropriate for something uh, like this that is supposed to be, well, perhaps ethereal cloth, but still uh, a piece of cloth. So it makes sense for me at least to uh, th that it has this sort of texture. Then for the uh, purple parts, I use another contrast paint. This one is called uh, Achillean Green. Um, so the name suggests that it should be greenish, but it's actually more of a bluish turquoise color, which uh, just matches the purple well, I think. For the dress underneath, I uh, went with a darker contrast paint. This one is called Pterodon Turquoise, and it doesn't show up really well here uh, on the video. Uh, I'm sorry about that, but it is actually a darker color uh, than the... Uh, than the Achillean green I used on the purple uh, purple part of the cloak. And again, I just do these tiny little cross hatching to give the illusion of texture and depth. And it, I just think it's a really nice way of working with the paint and, and adding texture to a model. Um, then I decided to go for some highlights. And uh, for the purple part, I went with a uh, fluorescent paint called Photon Purple. This is from a, a company called Huge Miniatures, which makes a really nice line of... Uh, neon uh, paints. Uh, I really enjoy working with them. And uh, so I uh, I did a couple of layers of this mixed with varying degrees of white <laughs> to get the uh, sort of um, a bit of variation in the colors. And then you can see here I do an edge highlight at the end, end of the cloak just because I really enjoy nice crisp edge highlights. Um, and then, as you can see here, I again do the cross hatching to uh, do uh, to do highlights, uh, which again more texture and 
this way of painting has the added benefit of if you make any sort of mistakes, you can always just, you know, add more cross hatching on top of it and you'll hardly ever notice. And uh, yeah, so you don't need, need a really smooth layer of paint uh, underneath. You can just sort of, uh, well, work your way through any mistakes you make. Then for the first layer of highlights on the uh, on the pink part of the cloak, I use another uh, paint from uh, Huge Miniatures. This one is called Pulse Wave Pink. And it doesn't show up uh, really clearly here on uh, on the footage, but uh, it's so, a very nice, rich, vibrant uh, neon pink. And uh, so I, uh, I tend to include it in as many painting projects as I possibly can. Next up, I grab another uh, one of the uh, of, of the neon paints from Huge Miniatures. This one is Cyber Pink, and I do a layer of highlight with that. And then I also do a layer uh, mixed with a bit of white paint, um, just to sort of really make the highlights pop. Um, I try to use it a little bit sparingly on uh, when when I do uh, highlights mixed with. Um, mixed with mixed with white, just to make sure it doesn't sort of take on too much of a pastel look. I like the uh, the very bright uh, look to the uh, to the pink still. And uh, lastly, for the uh, dress dress, I uh, pick a, just some pure white. I find that uh, the athematic blue just highlights really well just using white, and so it makes this part of the painting process also a little bit quicker because I only use three colors. I use the contrast paint for the first layer and then I use another contrast layer paint for making the uh, the shadows and then just a white uh, for the highlights. Um, and it doesn't give it doesn't give as rich of a texture I think when you only have these three layers but it looks just fine and as I said I really want the focus on the model to be on the outer cloak as well so I think it's just it works just fine and this is something I paint for a uh, gaming purposes. This is not a display model or anything, so it just needs to be something that I'm happy with. And so here you can see the uh, finished results, and uh, I think this is fun. Um, as I said, this was something I uh, I painted because I wanted to try out some uh, purple and pink color schemes, and uh, yeah, that is definitely what happened, and I, I really quite like it, and I had a lot of fun, and I of course enjoy the fact that, as you can see here, you can uh, put this model under a UV light, and it'll uh, light up the room, which I think is um, I think it's especially appropriate for a uh, for a ghost um, model because I mean they should perhaps look their best when uh, when seen under a UV light in in a dark room, right? And as I said, I uh, tried out this. Uh, this color scheme because I wanted to do something that was purple especially and also uh, trying out the the uh, pink contrast paint but also because um, if you saw my video on the uh, Warhammer Age of Sigmar battle forces that are coming out for this holiday season I was especially taken with the uh, night hunt box and so I wanted to see if I could come up with a color scheme that would um, I don't know, it sort of justify um, me buying uh, buying that box and giving uh, giving the Night Hunt a go. I've always loved the models ever since they came out. I, and I've tried painting a couple of them before. Well, I actually tried painting this exact model before. And I just, um, I really didn't like the color scheme I came up with. It was just, um, it was just weird and off and I didn't like it and so I have been uh, having these half painted models lying around for I don't know a couple of years at least and um, as, as long as I had them unpainted and in a color scheme that I really really didn't like it would make absolutely no sense to buy an entire box of models which I then wouldn't know what to do with but um, well now I kind of have an idea, so perhaps um, <laughs> perhaps I'm going to have to buy that uh, that Christmas box. Anyway, what do you think? Uh, do you like this color scheme? Is it uh, too much or perhaps not bright enough? Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. If you have any uh, uh, ideas or suggestions, think you, things you might like me to try out. Or, uh, I mean, you can always... Uh, perhaps either encourage or discourage me from uh, getting into uh, getting into night haunt as uh, 
my number way too many army. <laughs> so yeah, let me know in the comments. And uh, as always, I would really appreciate it if you would uh, like this video, uh, uh, perhaps even so considering subscribing to my channel. And uh, you can, of course, also follow me on uh, Twitter and Instagram as Dyson Demons if you would like to keep up to date on my painting projects. So thank you uh, so much for watching, everyone, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.